Yo guys, make sure you guys join my Discord server, a link will be left down below. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do on here is I do streams, giveaways, and a lot more on here. Um, we also like to talk on here and, you know, just hang around. Also, at specific amounts of members on this server, I will be doing um, giveaways and whatnot. So make sure you guys join it. Um, basically, at the first giveaway will be held at 50 members your choice either a steam gift card or some robux gift cards um 50 members basically out of this 50 members i want to see 25 at least so that's only half of the people that are actually on active so basically this server has to be active in order for these giveaways to happen yeah so enjoy the video hey guys welcome back to an another video today i'm gonna be showing you guys how you can actually get this rtx kind of graphics thing or the reshaders on roblox now it's not our real rtx obviously but it's what we like to call it because it looks like rtx um it's highly requested on my channel to actually show you guys how to do this so i will show you guys how to you can get this as well um i'm gonna try i know there's a lot of videos out there already and how to do this but i want to make the simplest way like make it very simple and straightforward also, I will be covering how to fix a common issue where Roblox just crashes on startup. So stay tuned to see how to do that. Alright, so the first thing, um, make sure you guys join my Discord server. I will most likely have the link on here, um, somewhere on here. So make sure you guys join it. Um, it's not on here right now. I will get that on here after I record in this video. But make sure you guys join my Discord server. Um, we do play all the time on here. I do streams and whatnot. Um, and yeah we just hang around and have lots of fun all right so with that being said you will find the link and it'll take you to here and you will get a download right here all right so what you're going to, want to do after you just downloaded it is go ahead grab it and drag it to your desktop just like this all right so this will just bring it out here and you can use it so from here i'm just going to right click on it and it extract all just like this it extract and uh yeah it will just quickly extract um yes there we go so wondering what was happening um so what you're gonna need is your roblox player launcher shortcut um if you don't have this don't worry you don't really need it you could just go here and search roblox and make sure you don't use the roblox app but the roblox player hit here and open file location and then you're gonna do it once again open file location which will take you here and I don't know why I have so much screenshots on here, but I do. Okay, so from here, uh, we're going to go ahead and go into our um, reshades folder thing here. And here, you're going to need to grab a couple things. Alright, so first we're going to need to launch reshade setup 4.1.1 DXE. Alright, so once you've opened this folder here, we're going to now proceed to the next step, which is to go into our uh, reshade setup, click here, and look for your game. So, easy way to do it is just, like I said, once you open that up, just go up here and copy this same exact file or just um, path. And then you're going to go up here and search for it. Now, make sure you do not use Roblox Player Launcher, but use Roblox Player Beta.exe. Hit OK or Open and it will just work so then you want to select open geo all right since i already have it i'm just gonna click yeah and make sure you hit yes because you want to download the stuff and once this pops up everything here will be checked but make sure you like it'll be checked like this make sure you click uncheck all because you don't want this on right now click ok all right so once this is done this is pretty much it if say like succeeded or whatever from here, we're going to proceed to go to our Roblox folder here again. Um, right, so the three things you're going to want are these top three things here. You're going to have um, the reshade folder, or sorry, the reshade folder, um, the extravies, reshade presets, and the OpenGL32. So you're going to go ahead and get all of these in there. I'm just going to hold on shift and click the top one. And I'm going to drag and drop them all in here. Alright, and it might say replace, click replace the files, and boom, it's just like that, it should be installed. Now the next thing in here is just a Roblox FPS unlocker, you can run that if you want, 
um, but I don't really feel like to because I already have it. Alright, so after you've done that, it should be good to go from here. So you can just hop, hop into your Roblox game and yeah, you should be good. As you can see, there's a little message that popped up up here to let us know that it's loading the FX and you can see it, it's starting to load in. Alright, yeah, it's kind of super reflective. I don't leave yet. I need to tell you guys other settings to change. Well, I'll show you guys all of that as well as if your game decides to crash on startup it happened to me but i managed to fix it all right so as you guys can see we have it on right now i think these are default settings i could be wrong though all right so first step is to make sure your graphics are set to eight all right you cannot i mean it works on max but not all games some games will not have reflectance unless it's on eight i think it works on one um yeah it works on one it's just the actual game graphics it won't show up anything so eight is the best all right from there you're gonna click home right, this will open up your whole entire menu where all of your uh, graphical options are here to click around and choose so before we do anything with these graphics options we're gonna go to settings and here's your overlay key basically this if you click here it will allow you to change the button to open it so I can change this to whatever button I want by clicking on it and just like delete this. I click a button on my keyboard and it will just pop up. So let's say I deleted it. I just click home again and it works. Here again, effect toggle key. I'm not sure what the default one is, but you can select any key as well. Basically what it does is it allows you to toggle on and off the presets. So, so if I turn it, turn it off and it looks ugly off, click zero again. There you go. turns it on. All right. So that's those settings and this is here SSR is basically screen space reflections that's what it stands for it's basically the reflections all over the place the water looking reflections also I turn off fidget fill grain eye adaption light um, autofocus light far and light near basically you don't need any of those they're just add additional stuff reflective bump mapping you can turn that off if you want I'm keeping that on for now uh, I'm, and I keep everything else on all right here we go here's one of them is TAA and there's a couple other ones all right these settings also depends on your PC if they cannot handle it then it may not work so make sure you're aware of that also, I also keep on colorfulness, and they also are alphabetically ordered, so if you cannot find something, just think of the name, or like the letter it starts with. I also keep on FXAA, which is another setting that you can uh, click on and off if you want, and you can also configure them down here. I just leave them as standard, because I don't feel like to change around too much. Alright, so there's also God arrays, but honestly, though, I don't really need them. I'm just gonna keep it on for now because why not all right so yeah that's pretty much how you do it how you get it all right, okay so if your game starts crashing on startup the first thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and go into your start menu and search for uninstall and hit add or remove programs um, okay, I'm gonna try that again add or remove programs and then you're gonna search up here for Roblox yeah the Roblox player one just delete that and you're good to go as Okay, so in order to do it, you're going to go ahead and go to find your Roblox player launcher shortcut. Again, you can do the same thing here by searching up Roblox, right clicking on the Roblox player and hit open file location. And if it doesn't work, that means you successfully uninstalled the Roblox. But if, if not, and if this still pops up, right click and open file location again and just completely delete everything in this folder. Right? Yeah, so after you do that, it should just completely remove Roblox from your computer. And after you've done that, you're going to have to reinstall Roblox by just going back to the games or wherever your Roblox website and just quickly installing it. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys on how to get it. Also, I'm pretty sure this reshader is going to actually be used on other games. I'm not 100% sure how to do that, but I am going to try to figure that out pretty soon. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys join my Discord server. A link will be posted in here. And, um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video.